So in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to get a Fortnite private server with the Black Knight private server. And this will be working on the latest version of Fortnite in chapter three. So to get this private server, you wanna join Swiss server and this invite link will be in the description. So once you get into the Discord server, head down to this channel, which is the download channel. And then you wanna head over here and you'll see all the updates in Black Knight 2.0 and you'll also see a new download link. So just click on this link right over here, and this is just gonna take you to the link for ties page, and he's changed the link to a link for ties so he can make some money off this because originally he was not making any money. So please use this link for ties to support Sway in this Black Knight private server and help him make a little bit of money off this. So once you get on this page, you're gonna click on free access with ads. And if you've never done a link for ties before, you can watch a video on how to do it, but I'll just be skipping over and showing you guys the download. So once you've done these two steps, you just want to click on continue to Black Knight and this will get you to the download page. So just click on the download right here and this will download Black Knight onto your computer. So I'm going to be putting this on my desktop just to make this simpler for you guys. So now you need to extract the folder. So just click on extract right here and then this will get you to the Black Knight folder. So if you want to make sure that this does not get flagged by your antivirus. What you wanna do before you launch this exe file is head on over to Windows Defender or whatever security or antivirus that you're using on your computer. So I'm just using Windows Defender, so just click over here, and then you wanna go down over here to Manage Settings, and then just turn off real-time protection just like I did. And this is going to disable the antivirus temporarily. And you can turn this back on right after you've used this folder. And this is definitely not a virus, so just make sure you are turning it off just so you don't encounter any errors when you're using Black Knight. So when you get to the launcher, you'll see a link for the Discord if you're not already in the Discord, but you probably are if you download this server. So now just click on the launch button, and you just want to make sure that you have Fortnite installed on your computer before you click on the launch button. So just make sure you have that, and then you can just launch up Black Knight FN. And now you're just going to wait for it to load and get you into the game. So once you get into Black Knight, you'll see this huge banner right here. So you can just click on close and then you'll get into Black Knight. So in Black Knight, it has a custom background, which is the season two, chapter two background, which is pretty cool, which makes it a bit more interesting. So you can also go into here and you can change your skin. So you'll see that you have all the skins in the entire game. And then if you want to get specifically the chapter three skins, just search up chapter three. And this will give you all the chapter three season one skins, including the ones from the battle pass and some that might be unreleased. So you can choose any of these skins that you want. So I'm gonna choose the screen goblin skin for now. And then you can head over here and you'll see that you have all the back blades as well. So you can scroll through here and choose any back bling that you want, including unreleased back blings. So I'll choose this cape. And then you can choose any pickaxe so I will be choosing the Champion's Axe. This is the FNCS pickaxe. And then you won't actually be able to see the glider or contrail, so you don't have to choose that because you can only use this in the lobby. So if you want to be able to see your pickaxe in the lobby, you can choose one of the emotes, which will be the pointed out emote. So just choose pointed out from the emote slot. And then you can head back over to the lobby. And now see that we have the green goblin and this back bling in our lobby. And then if you go to the emote, you can show your pickaxe in the lobby by using this emote. So if you wanna use unreleased skins in this private server, you can head over to the skin locker. And then if you see any of these placeholder outfits, this means that the skin is unreleased or will never be released because it was not ever in the game or it was one of the NPCs in the game. So as you can see, most of these are just NPCs, but it's pretty cool to equip these since you actually can't use them in the game and you can never actually buy them from the item shop. So if you just keep on scrolling down, there's quite a few of these. And you can use any of these that you want in the game. And you can also get OG skins. You can get the OG style for the Skull Trooper, just like this. And then if you want to choose the Ghoul Trooper, you can also get the OG style for the Ghoul Trooper. 
And then you can also get the Renegade Raider and other OG skins. So since this is a hybrid server, you can also join your friends. So if you can see over here in your friends menu, you'll have all your friends that are in the game and you'll also be able to join them in the lobby as well. So if you join someone, then they'll be able to see your skin in the lobby and you can do all the emotes and everything and show them in the lobby. So once you exit out of the game, you'll see that there will be a verification on your Fortnite game. So just wait for this verification to get to 100% and then you'll be able to play normal Fortnite outside of the private server again. And you can go into games and have your normal account without the hybrid server features back. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe for more updates on private servers like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one.